Welcome to this painting tutorial. In this video we're going to look at how to paint Ultramarines Space Marines for Warhammer 40k. This is, as you may know, the most popular color scheme for Space Marines and it's fairly straightforward and easy to do. I hope you like this tutorial and if you do, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you like what I do and would like to support my channel, stay after the video to know how. I'm going to start by priming the model in grey, and for that I'm using Rustoleum Automotive Grey Primer. You can use any primer that you like, but this primer is not made for miniatures, so use it very lightly. And I'm going to use Liquitex Slow Dry Fluid Retarder to thin down all of my paints. First, I'm going to start with Macrack Blue, and with this color I'm going to color the whole miniature. This paint is watered at least one to one with water or a similar mixture for the slow dry agent if you're going to use it. I'm using a monster brush to cover the whole model and try not to leave any bubbles or paint crumbs around the model. Just try to give a solid coat of paint and cover as evenly as you can. Next, I'm going to use Vallejo model color black. You can use Abaddon black, but I like this color better. And I'm going to base coat all of the metallic areas and places that you want to be black. Just make sure to thin down the color and apply it carefully not to paint on the blue areas. If you do, no big deal, you can just paint a crack blue again and clean up. Next, I'm going to use Drakenhof Nightshade, and this color is going to be applied over the whole model. What you're trying to do with the shade is just to push it to the recesses and let it settle on the nooks and crannies and all of the hidden recesses around the model. Once that's dry, I'm going to use my crack blue again. And with this color, I'm going to start cleaning up the model once again. I'm using a size 2 Kolinsky brush. You can use any sable brush or maybe a base coat brush or a standard brush to do this step. You're just trying to clean up the whole model and leave the shaded color on the recesses and uh, all of the shadows. But basically, we're just picking up all of the armor plates again with the base color. Next, I'm going to start edge highlighting the model with Calgar Blue. For this, I'm using a fine detail brush and I'm using the Liquitex Slow Dry to thin down the color and to help me out keeping the paint wet so that I can edge highlight for a longer while. Try to use the edge of the brush as much as you can and try to make the finest line that you can get. Uh, some edges need to be painted as freehand but, mo but most of them uh, just need to use the, the edge of the brush and just go over the border so that you can leave that uh, fine edge highlight over the area. Next, I'm going to use Fenrisian Grey and with this color we're going to paint again over the edges, but this time I'm going to be more selective and pick up the places that are more sharp or that catch more light and this is totally up to you. You can edge highlight the whole model again or just uh, choose the places that you would like to pop up a little bit more. Next, with Lead Belcher, 
I'm going to base coat all of the silver areas, which includes the bolter, uh, different uh, tubes and things here and there around the model. Just make sure to give it a solid coat and just leave it to dry. Next, I'm going to start base coating the gold with Balthazar Gold. And here I'm trying to be a little bit more careful. And uh, if you do get into the blue, you can just clean it up with, with uh, McCrack Blue. But try to paint these areas without painting over the places that you already finished. Next, sandry dust. I'm going to use it to paint the parchment on the purity seal. And after that, I'm going to use corn red to base coat the purity seal, the wax on the purity seal, and the eyes on the model. After that's done, I'm going to use known oil and with this color I'm going to shade in the metallics again. I mean just the silvers. And with Agrax Earthshade, I'm going to use this color to shade the gold and the purity seal. Next, with Iron Breaker, I'm going to start picking out the silver colors that you would like to highlight. And this is the bolter. You can leave it like that if you like if you like it to look a little bit dirtier but I'm going to clean up with this color after that I'm going to use Eschen Grey to edge highlight the bolter case or the black parts if you decided to paint any other places in black and next I'm going to use downstone to pick just the sharpest edges of the bolter case as a second finer highlight over the bolter with that done I'm going to use Gehenna's gold to start highlighting the gold and this is going to go over most of the area I'm just going to leave the deepest recesses on the Balthazar gold which aren't many it's just the recesses on the skulls and on details like that next Auric armor gold this color is going to be used only to etch highlight or to pick the brightest parts of the gold parts on the model which includes uh, the foreheads on the skulls and the sharpest edges and things like that next Ushapti bone is going to be used on the purity seal to highlight After that, I'm going to use Screaming Skull to give the final highlight to the Purity Seal. This is just on the very sharpest edges and places that you would like to en enhance. After that, Evil Sun Scarlet is going to be used to highlight the Purity Seal and the half front part of the lenses on the eyes.
Next, I'm going to use Troll's Layer Orange to give a really fiery effect on the front part of the lens. I'm just going to just paint the very front part of the lens a little dot of this color. And to finish off the model, I'm going to use White Scar. And with this, I'm going to paint a little reflection of light on the back part of the lens. And this is the finished model. I have to say I had a ton of fun painting this miniature. It turned out super close to what you see on the box and it wasn't too hard to do. This miniature looks pretty cool and stands out because of the gold trimming on the shoulder pads and this is a very nice looking space marine. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found it informative and helpful. And if you liked it, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you like to support my channel, stay after the video to know how. Remember that you can find me on Facebook. The link is in the description below. Feel free to leave any comments, questions and suggestions on the comment section below. And I hope to see you on the next video. You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel, you can become my Patreon on Patreon. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month and you are helping me create more and better content. If you can't, that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing. But you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below. I hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which I can get paid. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.